So this is the video that a lot of people will kind of skip to because I can understand you're kind of curious about what is my secret jumpstart method for potty training. Obviously you're looking for a fast solution. How can I train my puppy the fastest? So welcome to this video. Okay, so how does this work? How do we get your puppy to be trained from taking it home from where you got it from to be trained within three to five days. Now, and often it can even be faster. There's a couple of tricks that I have discovered over the, over the years and they seem to work. I get a lot of feedback from people and they're like, wow, I can't believe my dog never had an accident in the house. How, how did we do it? Well, this is how you do it. When you take your puppy home, so this doesn't necessarily work when you just got a puppy and then you watch these videos, it may already be a little delayed but in case you watch this video before you get a puppy this will help a little bit faster so this is how it works you pick up your puppy when you first get it you take it home in the car and then when you come home the very first thing you do is you park your car then you go to the backyard or the front yard wherever you want your puppy to learn to pee uh, from now on for the for the potty training situation you park your car, you go to that spot and you let them pee. Because after a car ride, as long as it's 45 minutes or longer usually, you park the car, you go to the bathroom spot where you want them to go, they, they usually have to pee right away. They don't necessarily have an accident in the car too often when you bring them home. They don't tend to pee and poo. It's often that they have a little bit of a, an upchuck accident in the car, but after a car ride, they usually have to go to the bathroom right away. So this is a jump start already to, to start with so go outside let them pee and then when you come there next later a couple hours later when it's time to go to the bathroom again they already smell their own smell and they're comfortable by going there now if you missed out on that because you got this video maybe after you got the puppy and you still have uh, some some struggling uh, with with training them what you can do is you can use some paper towel and mop up the pee and then take that paper towel outside where you want them to go. So you just smear that on the ground, whether it's grass or even dirt, it doesn't matter. Yes, the paper towel gets a little weird and gross, but the smell of the puppy will now be on that spot. They have their, The smell of a dog is about 10,000 times better than people, so they will smell it, so they will recognize their own smell. So they like to go back to that spot. They're gonna be like, hey, I must have gone here. I guess I was safe. So I'll go there again. So that's your, your coming home situation. The other thing to realize is, as I explained in a previous video, is you want to do the crate training. They go in a crate with a divider so they learn to not have an accident in there. The first thing in the morning you need to do is grab your puppy, lift it up, walk outside, then put the puppy down. Because often puppies get excited, they see us, they want to be held and touched and everything, and before you know it, they lose their bladder. So you grab your puppy, go outside, and then say hello to them, basically. That way they pee outside, they learn that they wake up, they pee. Then I, reckon, I recommend that you go inside after a few minutes after they peed, give them their food. You got 15 minutes, and take the food away. And this is really the key to remembering when a puppy needs to go to the bathroom. They wake up, they pee, they eat, they poop. It's that simple. Uh, it's just a matter of you following up after they wake up and after they eat. So ideally you want to give them three meals, as I mentioned in previous videos, as a puppy. Later on you go to twice a day for life when they're a little bit older. So the first thing you do, you wake up, grab your puppy, go outside, let them pee. You come in the house, here's your food, you got 15 minutes. Take the food away, go back outside. Then the rest of the day takes place, it's lunchtime. Here's your food, you got 15 minutes. Take the food away, go back outside. They eat, they poop. Dinner time, 15 minutes. Take the food away, go back outside. They eat, they poop. Now there will be times where a puppy is just napping on the floor somewhere or laying in their crate, even with the crate open sometimes. Once they wake up, go outside right away. The principle behind this, you cannot always predict when a puppy needs to go. So there is no such thing as every hour and a half or watch your puppy. I've seen uh, people recommending on the internet sometimes they 
um, put the puppy on a leash, tie it to something, and just tell you to watch TV all day. And when you see your puppy looking for a spot, quickly grab your puppy. Well, okay, it may work. I don't think that's ideal, and who has the time for that? Some people do, some people don't. But you want to kind of grab the ones, the grab the ones that are predictable. And the predictable ones are the: they wake up, they pee, they eat, they poop. So those are the predictable ones. There will be in betweens that are not predictable ones. They walk around, and all of a sudden they squat, and before you know it, you have a pee in the floor. Number twos are usually a little bit easier to recognize because they sniff around a little bit longer. They want to find that, that perfect spot to go and where they feel comfortable. Usually when you see them kind of sniffing around, grab your puppy and go outside because that's a sign that they likely have to go to the bathroom. So, um, again, it comes down to recognizing, of course, those things. But it, the, the whole principle behind it is you teach them that once they have this feeling they always go outside. So after a few days, they start to recognize your um, desire for them to go to the bathroom outside. So you may not always be around. And what happens sometimes, they go to the door because that's the door they always go to the bathroom. So you wanna kinda of pick one door where they always go out of. So they learn to go to that door. Now, most puppies don't really know how to go through the door. And, you're nowhere is inside. You may be home, but you're not right there. So a puppy often goes to the door. You're not there. I don't know what else to do. I'll just pee in the floor here. A few minutes later, you come, come back, you see a mess on the floor. So now you have to clean it up. And you're starting to wonder, why is my dog doing this? And then day after day go by. And before you know it, the dog is still not trained. So why, why is this happening? How can we not get the dog to go outside? We do what Barry told us. But why is it not working? The puppy actually is already trained it just didn't know how to let you know to go outside so what happens often is if you if you let the puppy do this behavior now the indoors becomes almost a permanent habit so it's harder to break that so how do we get by the solution now this is what we use at home we just have a bell at the door my dogs just bump against the bell it hangs about four inches from the ground and they bump the bell now this bell i can hear throughout most of the house and my dogs go to the door, ring the bell, and they will let us know that they want to go to the bathroom. So you can do the same thing. Now, this was actually a Christmas ornament. It's a steel bell that they can rattle around. You can use anything that makes noise that you're comfortable with, or they actually sell specific bells in the pet stores uh, very often that actually use this. So hang it from a string or from something. We actually just use some old collars, and, and you can do whatever you want. Uh, just hang it down so your dog will learn over time that it needs to ring the bell. Obviously you can move your dog against the bell a little bit to ring the bell outside, ring the bell outside. It all comes down to repetition. So the puppy needs to go to the bathroom. They go to the bell, they ring it, and then you open the door and that's their way of notifying that they have to go. So using the bell really speeds up the training process. So that's really kind of the, the lowdown of the, of the jumpstart method because it will really speed up the training process. They will start to learn that they can notify you, they don't have accidents, and, and really, um, of course, it comes down to, again, I like to repeat these things, they wake up, they pee, they eat, they poop. As long as you remember those things, the in-betweens will end up outside very quickly as well. The bell is a great help um, to, to warn you that they wanna go out to the bathroom, so use that because it's, it's gonna really make a big difference. We'll see you in the next uh, video. I'm gonna be talking about uh, potty training when you live in an apartment or a condo because that is slightly different than having a house um, or, or a, a little bit of a property where you can go outside quickly. So if you are living in a condo or an apartment, um, I suggest you watch this video first, of course, and then you watch the next video. We'll see you there. Thank you.